Enter your text year, last year's ultimate sports adventure touring shootout, a six-day, nine-buck extravagasm, pitted some of the lesser dirtable models, versus 1000 LT, Multistrad IS, S1000 XR, against some of the industry's more formidable off-roaders, 1290 Super Adventure, 1190 Adventure, R1200 GS, as well as a few in-betweeners, Kapanord, V-Strom, Tiger Explorer. With this year's introduction of Honda's Africa Twin, Ducati's Multistrada 1200 Enduro, and Triumph's Tiger Explorer XCX, three more off-roading models have emerged. Two contributing factors to a bikester's appropriateness are its wheel sizes and the presence of rugged wire spoke wheels. Of the 11 bikes in this spec sheet, seven run a 19-inch front, 17-inch rear wheel combo, to a 21-inch front, 18-inch rear combo and to a 21-17 combo. The 17-inch front rear combo and cast aluminum wheels the Multistrada 1200S versus 1000 LT and S1000 XR wear have disqualified them from this shootout. Almost all the bikes here have spoke wheels, but for some reason, or rather a mistake on Suzuki's part, the adventure version of the V-Strom 1000 is outfitted with cast aluminum wheels instead of spokes. However, its wheel sizes are 19-17, and because the Strom so closely matches the Africa Twin in price, weight, and horsepower, we're gonna look the other way and include it here. It should be noted that getting the class icon, BMW's R1200 GS, Outfitted with spokes is a $500 upgrade in addition to the bike's $1,500 standard package, accounted for in the spec sheet's pricing. The two 800S, BMW F800GS and Triumph Tiger 800XC, and the Strom are certainly outgunned by the likes of Ducati's and KTM's 160 horsepower monsters, Multistrad Enduro, Super Adventure, but are closest to the relatively underpowered Africa Twin in terms of horsepower, weight and price. Since the Honda's introduction of the Africa Twin, there's been grumblings from some enthusiasts about how it compares to KTM's 1190 Adventure or what's obvious in the spec sheet is the KTM splits the claimed curb weight of the two Honda models, but produces considerably more horsepower and torque. We are going to go out on a limb here and say that, when we get around to riding these two bikes, the KTM will leave the Honda in its proverbial dust. The real question will be, is the KTM worth paying an extra $4,000, or $3,300 compared to the DCT Africa Twin? The follow-up questions are, how does the DCT version of the Africa Twin measure up against all the non-DCT models? Is DCT a better technology to have compared to the technology some of the other box boast? such as cruise control or electronic suspension? Traditionalists are going to ask if DCT is even a technology worth developing. These questions and many more are unanswerable by looking at a spec sheet, but ones we'll certainly consider when it comes time for writing impressions in our 2016 Adventure Bike Shootout. What a spec sheet encompassing this many models is really good for is cross-referencing claimed performance and available technologies. It's easy to see how a $12,500 Tiger 800XC with a respectable assortment of technologies progresses into a $21,295 Ducati Multistrada 1200 Enduro with nearly every technology known to motorcycling. There are also some Easter eggs in there when you look hard enough, such as the two most powerful bikes here, the 160 horsepower Multi and Say, sharing the same power to weight ratios with the less powerful but equally less heavy 1190 adventure r 3.5 lbs hp 5.6 lbs lbft also apparent are the three chef driven bikes the four bikes that come equipped with center stands and that the aprilia cap and orden super adventure are the only bikes on which saddlebags and crash burs aren't expensive options the explorer xcx also comes equipped with crash burs for those with specific needs, such as visiting remote places or riding long distances, knowing that the Multi and Say are the only two bikes with 7.9 gallons of fuel is useful. Riders who dislike bikes with weight problems will certainly notice the Capo's 604 pound acclaimed curb weight, keep in mind, that weight includes saddlebags and crashbers. To keep things fair, 
because we have yet to weigh and dyno each new model, we used the manufacturer's claimed weight and power figures, which were, in turn, used to determine power to weight ratios. Obviously, this data will change at a future date when the bikes are in our possession to conduct honest rear wheel dyno measurements and away and on a most expensive scales. Until then, use this spec sheet to draw some of your own conclusions on how these bikes measure against one another.